Welcome to Opalize TV. Today I'm in Chicago together with Dmitry Alexeyev, PhD, founder and CEO of AlphaBot. AlphaBot is a suite of highly integrated tools designed to increase efficiency of alternative investment research by 10 times or more. I have 20 years industry experience and I started as a research analyst right after getting my PhD in mathematics from Tulane University and then learned more about alternatives and became interested in the alternative investments. Went on to work with HFR Asset Management for a few years and helped them develop the investable index methodology, which are still quite popular in these days because such things do not, did not exist back then. And then later on moved from my career, eventually becoming a chief investment officer of a fund of funds of CTAs here in Chicago. And then finally starting my own business, uh, the result of which is Alphabot that we are discussing here today. I came up with the idea for Alphabot many years ago, but I didn't realize it until recently. The, what I came up with is the understanding that the investment research process, especially in alternatives, is extremely inefficient. So what it means is that people spend 90% or sometimes more of their time preparing to do research. They copy data from one Excel spreadsheet to another, they update their macros, they create report layouts, and then they spend time uh, looking at the manager, and then they go back to spreadsheets, for example, to, again, update it with new data as it comes in, populate another benchmark, or meet another manager, and that copy their information into a new spreadsheet. So this process literally takes a lot of time and for some reason it is taken for granted in this industry. People think this is the way to do it and they don't really realize that you can actually do this a lot faster. And if you focus on making investment decisions instead of the infrastructure, you can actually achieve that efficiency gain of 10 times or more that I mentioned, or that the product delivers. So the way we do this is that we integrate a number of functionalities, such as collaborative or professional networking, data and document sharing, integrated analytics, and then on top of that, we make it all work together. So it's a very well integrated suit. So all the tools talk to each other and understand each other. You can switch from one screen to another. You can analyze the portfolio and then investigate more about their ingredients. Or you can take a set of ingredients such as a managers and then take a look at the portfolio that you can build from them. So the flow is very natural, it is very efficient and very fast, and therefore you can run through the entire process of evaluating a candidate manager, for example, literally in a few minutes. So Dmitry, who is your natural user base? For who have you actually created this? The system, as I mentioned, works with investors and managers, but these are not the only users of it. To gain efficiency in the research process, you may want to subscribe a large database, and there are large hedge fund databases out there that you know. The issue is that you have two choices. One, you can subscribe to their data and end up downloading a bunch of files, which you will then have to process and program into your reporting and workflow which takes resources, programmers, data analysts, and so on. Or you can use the portal that many of such data vendors have, where you can take a look through their offerings or the, for example, managers, if it's a manager database. But it is limited in functionality because it doesn't allow you to build a portfolio or use your own benchmark or compare hedge funds to cryptocurrencies and do other multi-asset class work. So. In our system, you can just as well work with databases, which means that the databases are our clients as well, which we already have. 
And uh, the benefit for them is that they can allow access to their data with a couple of clicks. The client wants to pay for the data, they push a button and the vendor approves access and the data is instantly available within the tool for any of their analytical tools and comparison tools that you may want to use. In addition to this, platforms, for example, like hedge fund platforms, managed account platforms are another type of user which are similar in sort of databases that they have a number of vehicles they want to deliver, right? But imagine if you have 10, 15, 20 managed accounts or 20 managers that you work with in support managed accounts as a platform. Delivering all of that data to a potential investor or a consultant is a nightmare because it's either, again, a portal that only works with that data or a bunch of Excel files with performance, or a bunch of PDF reports with pre, pre-calculated analytics, which are basically getting old the next time performance updates. So uh, in our system, you can access that instantly and just as easily a platform can create their own content within our system, upload it, and make it available for interested investors. So again, it's a click, can I access this? It's another click, yes you can. And it's instantly available from documents to research to DDQs to analytical tools to portfolio construction. Another type of client that would really benefit from this system is for example, a family office. Family offices, pension funds and other entities or investors, consultants that work across asset classes, all of them have a unique challenge that is rarely still addressed in the marketplace, meaning they need to work across asset classes, across uh, data frequencies, because, for example, equity markets are often used on a daily basis for research, but hedge funds are quite often and still are mostly monthly. So you constantly need to convert the data, and if you need to merge asset classes, it's a challenge by itself. Name a system that can merge cryptocurrencies hedge funds, equities, ETFs, mutual funds, currencies, and other things into one convenient structure where you can model a complex allocation such as for a modern family office, for example. Until Alphabot, it barely didn't exist. So Alphabot provides such functionalities so a family office or a pension fund can easily model their multi-asset class allocation and then evaluate new opportunities as they come along. So be that an alternative investment manager, such as a hedge fund, or maybe it is another ETF, or maybe it's a single equity exposure. It can be modeled within a few clicks, and they can instantly see what it does to their current holdings, whether it's improving the numbers where it makes it look better or or worse, and then can then make a decision And it goes back to making that investment decision faster instead of making decisions how many hundreds of spreadsheets do I need to support and how many analysts I need to hire to manage those hundreds of spreadsheets. So, and what we are trying to do by expanding our coverage is to facilitate the investors, the managers, the consultants to process more data that it keeps coming from the different vehicles and different channels and make the correct investment decisions. Because this is the ultimate goal of the investment management, right? Making the right allocation decisions. Unfortunately, the bottleneck is not the ability to make those decisions, but the infrastructure. In most cases, this is the really choking point, because the more managers you need to look at, the longer it takes, the more vehicles are there, or hedge funds, or CTAs, or ETFs to consider, the more your analysts need to look at those reports and run different combinations and so on. And it becomes very saturating, very difficult very quickly because there's not enough time. And we're solving that problem by eliminating the time spent on infrastructure, spent on maintaining files, spent on copying and pasting increasing amounts of data, and building our system that the decisions can be made 
quickly and efficiently, and the data flow is seamless. The more data comes into it, the faster the system will be because it's a highly scalable cloud architecture, so we will grow it with our needs. And then the more intelligent, the more important decisions our users will be able to make using this growing amount of data and the increased efficiency of the system. And let me add to this that we are doing all of this work and delivering all this quality tools and data for a fraction of the cost of a typical system that you can see in the marketplace. And it is definitely going to be hundreds of times cheaper or less expensive than hiring your own team to do a custom database and maintain hundreds of files and build custom reporting and then verify that those numbers are accurate. So it is an extremely good value proposition for our users. So Dmitry, this is fascinating. I wonder how does data entry then work in your system? How does new data or series of new data get into your system? And that's an excellent aspect to look at because data entry is also an extremely time-consuming process. So we obviously are aware of this, trying to increase the efficiency of uh, research process. And what we've done is we have implemented the full spectrum of possibilities on data entry side. So you can start by creating an instrument yourself, which is obviously boring. And if it's a monthly instrument, you can type up the numbers, right? But this is not much different from typing it up in Excel or copying and pasting from somewhere else. Next, we actually provide import facility where you can take, let's say, a master spreadsheet that almost every investor on earth has. Because again, in alternatives, this is how it works and they have seen hundreds of those offices. So you have a master spreadsheet with columns for managers that you cherished returns, you accumulate that over time. Well, guess what? You can import that spreadsheet into Alphabot with a couple clicks. And the data then instantly becomes available and you can update it in a similar fashion. So taking it to the next level of technology, we also have API. So the, if you have a database or a source of data that's coming from outside, who is somehow automatically updated, such as you have your own administrator or a system that calculates something for you, you can program our API and it will update the system inside Alphabot with your data and keep it fresh as many times as you want. Finally, for larger institutions or data vendors who have lots and lots of data, we offer integration services. So we do all the work ourselves we simply need access to their data, be that a set of files or their own database. And then for our secure channel, we aggregate that data and make it available from within the system. So is there anything comparable on the market? How does your competition look like? Our current competitive landscape is actually very favorable because there are not much competition in this space. It may sound too good, but let me explain. So what it means is that there are Partial solutions. There are data vendors, there are operators for the back office, there are document management systems, there is even calculation tools that you can buy or use or program easily with some libraries or something like this that help you with reporting and analytics. There is currently no well-integrated system to the level of ours that does the same thing as well as we do. So in that regard, there is no competition. Our edge is in excellent integration of totally different technologies. From document management to embedded analytics to data management and working with all the hundreds and thousands of entities that a potential investor may have to go through, there is very few solutions. And the existing solutions tend to be very siloed. So if you talk to a hedge fund database, they do nothing but hedge funds. And it's usually just monthly. If you talk to equities, there's plenty of equity-based or equity-oriented solutions, analytical tools, and so on, but they don't work with hedge funds. If you want with 
If you work with cryptocurrencies, there is lots of sites where you can stream prices and buy Bitcoin, for example. But all of them, practically all, lack any serious analytics or portfolio management tools. So if you look at it all together, there is basically no solution like ours. So the system comes with more than 20,000 available instruments already, and only a portion of that data is paid. So for example, we do provide electronic subscription to Barclay Hedge, which is a leading database on hedge funds. And that is a paid subscription. So yes, you would need to pay and run a credit card. But again, the benefit is that you can access the data instantly as soon as the transaction goes through. But also a lot of data, and actually mm, most of it right now, is free of charge to the subscribers of the system. So, And that includes thousands of market benchmarks, almost 2,000 of cryptocurrencies, US ETFs, Forex, commodities, and uh, a lot of other things are coming. We are enabling the feed for the mutual funds. We are working on international equity markets. And so soon our free database will grow close to 100,000 instruments, which is an enormous universe to work with quickly and efficiently in the way we do it. So it is a great value for a potential subscriber because so much stuff is already included. So Dmitry, what's next at Alphabot? I'm sure you're working on more interesting things that will be coming up shortly. We have a very exciting next project that we are working on right now is building AI for portfolio management that takes advantage of all the data that we have in the system. So the goal is for it to be able to suggest to an investment to recompose their portfolio depending on the chosen strategy for allocation. For example, people are or may be concerned that the recession is coming and therefore they want to build a portfolio for downside protection. Or they may be curious about a particular new sector of the industry where they want to optimize their upside participation. So the AI will be designed to help them build those strategies. And unlike many other robo-advisors, which has been a familiar term, but the concept didn't seem to pick up so well, it is not limited to a particular set of offerings. Basically, it is up to the client and up to the user to define the framework in which the AI will work and the instruments that they want to build their new portfolio from. And then the AI will do the rest of the work and give them a suggestion of how to make their portfolio even better. This is very exciting work. This is very different level. And the great thing is that it integrates perfectly into our structure, into our logic, and in, into the framework of the system with all the computing power, all the data processing power, and everything we have so far. So I'm looking forward to it.